Plans for this account, acquire the Slayer Staff, get an Obsidian Maul, 99 Strength of course, and also I'm going for the Construction Cape so that I can teleport around the game. Welcome to the video guys, I'm 76 Strength, 10 HP, and uh, I'm an Iron Man. Baby, look at those fireworks. 99 fishing probably grew 11,000 death runes worth of cats while I was getting 99 fishing, which is like 55 cats or something. Yes! Oh my god! Dragon pickaxe. 1,800 hours invested into this account, yet I'm still only level 37. Now that I'm here, I can do loads of herbivore, get loads of fossils, turn them in for Slayer XP, and then eventually equip the Slayer staff. I just got the mining pad. Yeah, 83 mining. Oh, yes. Oh, magic shore pose being made. That looks so good. Oh my gosh, it's been a long journey. And finally, 1,500 total. Oh my god! Oh my god! Finally, after 1,500 hours, 99 strength has been achieved. Look at that. I got it. I got it. I got it. One level to go until Amethyst Arrows. There it is, 85 crafting. For one of the final upgrades to this account, Amethyst Arrows. It's been thousands of hours of progress, but this account is nearly perfected as the player killing machine it was always intended to be. And now all that's left to complete this account is 99 construction, while passively chasing after any uniques I can get from clue scrolls along the way. Ugh, <sighs> damn it. What? Equip a blue dehyde body for a medium clue scroll. 40 defense and 50 range requirement for him. Okay. Next step. Ooh, I'm gonna have to kill something for this one. In the swamp. Setting up the cannon, digging the hole, and we have a Ceradomin wizard that I don't know how I can hide from this guy. <gasps> yes, you're dead. 30 nature runes. Oh, I got a hard casket. That's what I like to see. Robin Hood hat. <laughs> Not the green uh, headwear that I was looking for. Well, Saradamon page. That can go towards making the Saradamon book. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I look like a proper pure PKR right now. This clue step requires me to complete Dragon Slayer 1, or at least most of it. First key, second key, third key, fourth key. Hello, Melzar. Three hits and he's gone. Fifth key acquired. Brilliant. Sixth and final key acquired, lesser demon down. Yes, all right, we are almost done. The question is, can I cannon this goblin boy? I'd prefer to pay 10K than get 31 magic experience from the telegraph spell, so yeah, there we go, I just bought it. There's Crandor, and I believe X is actually pretty close to where I need to dig for my hard clue step. No, it's just a medium clue. Jeez, making me do all this for a medium clue. Hole fully repaired, and now I need to talk to my friend Ned in Trainer Village. Take me to Crandor. Now, I'm not actually going to slay the dragon, but I will claim my loot from this medium clue step. I think I'm on the final step now, so I can get the casket right away. We're going to sink! Look, land ahead. We're going to crash! I'm going to collect at least 10 medium caskets and then open all of them at once, so I'll save this one for later. And 85 woodcutting, that looks beautiful. And the skills tab here, slowly getting all of these stats to base 90s. Oh, I can do this. Oh my god, this might be the last step of the clue as well. I really hope this will be the last one. Yes, I got the casket. Get out of here. All right, we're gonna open her up. I really want a Robin Hood hat or a trimmed glory. Let's see. Aha. <laughs> and that's three hard clues on the books. 85 construction, a beautiful multiple of five. And I can now use the volcanic theme. Hmm. Here, 
You're safe. Good job. Well, thank you, King. From all the tree choppering I've been doing from both oak and mahogany logs, I've gotten a lot of clue nests, and I was actually able to complete 10 medium clues as well as one easy clue. So it's time to open them up. That's horrible. Is... Ooh, ancient page four. Very nice. Uh, not, not, uh, not impressive there. Oh come on. Oh, a white elegant. Oh, ancient page three. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. Very nice. All right, what do we got? More sweets and no rangers or wizard or, or even the holy sandals. We got nothing. But we are that much closer to getting a plus 10 mage bonus from the ancient book. So ancient page three, ancient page four. Now for the easy clues casket, something I cannot use. But we did get some uniques after all. Very handsome. But let's go ahead and bank this and get back to the choppering. I am Odoblock. You f***ing sh** cat. You're sh** it. Oh, One to go until Redwoods. That went by very fast. And there it is, 90 wood cutting. Can now cut redwood trees. And the same day, 91 wood cutting. Ah, it's been a long time coming, but that is 92 wood cutting. And coincidentally, I have 20,000 mahogany logs pretty much exactly sitting in the bank for me. There it is, that was the goal. Beautiful, look at that. Now I can go ahead and make them into planks and get started with mahogany homes. I'm not sure if it'll be enough for 99 woodcutting, but it should get me very far along towards that goal. And it wouldn't be a true celebration if I didn't redeem all my hard work in getting these clue caskets. Five easies, six mediums. That is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, look at that. Hey, that's actually really cool. Oh, man. Wait, does that require... First of all, I got a master clue. That's brilliant. Does that require 40 prayer? <gasps> it doesn't. Zamrak robe legs. That's so cool. Can't wear the cloak, though, because that does require 40 prayer. And for the rest of the easies, not good. Let's see about this master. I can't even go there. All right, some GP. Hey, that's for an easy clue. 6.3K. Not too bad. Now for the mediums. Need those ranger boots. Lumberyard telly. This City of Spanner. Hey, look at that. Not too shabby. Two you longbows. Come on. Come on. No mish lighter. One more, please. No. Oh, I got the Arbidil page one. All right. All right. Well, we did get some uniques. So that is redeeming. Redeeming in the slightest, I suppose. And while I'm so close to Hosidius, I may as well flaunt the new banner while I do my mahogany log conversions into the planks. The 59 mil cash stack will deplete into much less than what it is now. And all those logs I just chopped, yep, they're all getting converted straight away. So yeah, 1.5k each for these things. Very, very expensive. This should take about 15 hours to complete, but there it goes, the first batch of planks. I'll see you in about 15 hours. It was nice knowing you sawmill operator, but that is the final batch of mahogany planks made. And look at my cash stack. I spent a lot of money to get these mahogany planks. I've just made this rune light tab and it contains all the things that I might need for mahogany homes. But for now, look at what I have. The Chronicle, I have home teleports, which yes, that will give me mage XP, but I've planned it all out. You see, something that's beautiful about this is that for all my Falador contracts, I can use the Ring of Wealth teleport to the Falador part. So I can actually pick up contracts with this teleport as well. I don't need to get any magic experience. Hosidius is the same. I can simply use a tithe farm teleport in order to get there. That's only once every 20 minutes, so I might find myself teleporting to my house and then leaving the Hosidius house portal. Sarah and Varrock, I can get to her quickly and actually the fastest just by using my chronicle teleport. 
My first contract from Amy is East are down. All right, let's get started. Never done this before, so... Okay, this isn't so bad. It's pretty easy. Is it done? Did I do all of it? Okay, there's steel bars as well. Yep, that's why I need the steel bars. Good to know. I think I'm done, though. What do you think? Yes! Yes! Thank you. 87 construction. Excellent. First half hour completed and I've gotten 90,000 experience. Look at this. That's awesome. And as for magic experience gained, I had a lot of contracts that were all in Falador in a row, so I didn't have to gain any magic experience for that. I'm so glad I researched this method instead of sticking with the oak uh, loiters in Remington. However, I did actually learn that I should use my Xerix talisman to do all the Hosidious contracts instead of teleporting to my house. That's one thing that I'm changing now. And we have a very promising magic experience to construction experience ratio, currently at about 0.43%, so that means that I won't even hit 70 magic while doing this. And that's it, 350 points, I can now purchase the best upgrade for doing mahogany homes, and that is the plank sack. There it is, yes, give me that thing. I don't know how many it holds. Perfect, Falador contract, so I can see 28. Wow, okay, that's really good. Was that a person? That was scary. I don't think anybody will attack me here. <laughs> it's, it'd be pretty rare to find anybody. And there we go. All of my rings of wealth charged once again. That is 125 charges to Falador Park. I have to do this a few times on the grind to 99 construction, so I hope nobody finds me. <gasps> 126. Of course, as I say that, oh my gosh. I need to get 1750 skill total, man. <laughs> that would make this completely safe. I'm gonna be buying the construction XP boosting gear, such as the carpenter's boots as the first one. 89. And now for the second reward, carpenter's helmet. Now I look even more like a noob, but I have 0.6% construction XP boost, so it makes it worth it. And I'm very intelligent, that's why I missed the level. Um, damn it. Well, 90 construction, a big milestone for me. Ninety-one construction. Wait, have I hit eight hundred? I have! Carpenter's shirt. Yes, give me that thing. I like it, I like it. All right, that is probably the last reward I'll buy from the shop because everything else, pretty trash, not gonna lie. 94 already, wow. I think I've gotten three levels this day, just today, three levels, beautiful. That's what 11 hours of gaming does to you. Well, I've just completed my 1000th contract and coincidentally, I've also run out of house tabs. So now I need to go back to getting magic experience from teleporting to my house, which sucks, but it's not the end of the world because I'll only gain about 12K more magic experience from 99 construction. And there is yet another level, 95 construction. Yes, it looks so good, four levels to go. 210K XP per hour. That's that's my best that I've done so far. So personal best, personal record. I'll take that one. That's awesome. And there it is, 97 construction. Beautiful. Show me that. Yes, there we go. That's it. I'm so close. 98. Oh, the penultimate level. One to go, man. One to go. It's gonna be the most cringe nerdgasm ever. Like, I really hope not. Like, I was planning to do this for three years. That's how long, or no, I think four years I've been planning to do this. <laughs> Just to have it done is gonna be incredible. And that's it. Broke the 13 million milestone. Look at that. We're so close. All right, the last contract of Mahogany Homes, and it is in Verok. Let's go. And here we are. Hello, Jeff. My name is Jeff. It is time to complete the final goal on this account. After this, it is just waiting for new updates to come to the game, which give me the ability to upgrade this account. But for now, this is the final upgrade I can possibly achieve, and it's 99 construction. Here we go. Yes! <laughs> Yes! Oh my gosh! Beautiful. I don't want your cup of tea. I better be off. To bigger and better things. With a fully optimized PKing Iron Man account. Demonic throne incoming. If I can build that. Don't even know if I can. It is done. It is done. How many hours are we talking? Well, it was about probably 400 hours of mining. 
to make the money. And then construction on its own, if you include the chopping, maybe 80K. So that was 170 hours plus 400. So 570 hours. All right, off to Falador Park. Feels like yesterday I came here for my first construction manual. Skill cape for infinite teleports around the game. 99,000 GP is most certainly worth it. Yes, there it is. And the first emote. Now for infinite teleports around the game and I can PK seamlessly with this thing. Was it worth it to be forever 44 combat with these stats? I'm gonna go with yes. Bro, this looks so sick. I love this cape, man. Now it's time to PK, but no teleport tabs needed. And no magic experience needs to be gained as I teleport around the game. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> nice. You're dead. He's not dead. Ooh, OS Froggy. You're going down, buddy. Ooh, there's a major. He's a lot higher combat than me. Oh boy. Oh my god! <laughs> yes! Yes! Higher combat level? Doesn't matter. OS Froggy, I demand vengeance. Wait, I need a repot. Here we go. Good luck, OS Froggy. And yeah, dead, mate. <laughs> life of John. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to end that life, buddy. Oh, he teleports. Smart man. Level 59 attacking me. Oh, stop that. No, he got me. I've been bested. I've been bested. <gasps> Where's my construction cape? Will it be on the ground? I hope so. Oh, and I get my cape back. Brilliant. I can finally be satisfied with this account. 44 combat, 99 strength, and I've done everything I need to do to get all the gear required. And I even have infinite teleports to my house. So I am satisfied. I do think this is the perfect PK account. I'm in love with it, and there is so much PKing I have to do now. Now that I've finished all the skilling and all the progress towards my gear, I can finally play the game. So lots of interesting PK videos to come, a lot of noobs that don't expect to die will die and i look forward to seeing you there where's the wave where is it <laughs> what am i doing and with that thank you very much for watching and i'll see you soon